by direct or indirect connection, having somebody receive some injuries that affect their lives in a major way through accidents on the roads. Now, tonight, it's with respect to those we've lost on our roads and with the ambition to try and change this that we host a gentleman from the National Transport and Safety Authority. We have Mr. Samuel Musumba, who's the Director of uh, Road Safety and Strategies, or rather the Manager for Road Safety and Strategies at NTSA, to try and help us understand, uh, first of all, where are we, why are we here, and where we need to go. Karibu sana. Thank you, Victor. Thank Karibu you for having sana. me here. <laughs> it's an absolute pleasure, and yeah. uh, we hope to to have an insightful conversation oh, for sure. the 47 counties that are watching us tonight. Thank you. Karibu sana. <laughs> Asante sana. Now, perhaps you can just tell us in brief, where are we in terms of numbers? How are we doing so far by this mark of, you know, of this year in terms of uh, our roads? Oh, Victor, I'll tell you that uh, things don't seem to look so good. Mm. Uh, last year was a bit even tougher because by the time we were ending last year, I was uh, at about 4,753. Wow. Uh, we lost those lives. Wow. Um, then come this year, we began so well. January, February, up around April, we yes. were like, wow, yes. it's a negative. We were doing up, up to a negative of 10. Yes. But things just started changing thereafter. Um, although we have a, a, a reduction a little bit of about negative about six there, but still, the number is worrying. The number is worrying. As we speak right now, just looking at the numbers, we are at already 3,500 and about 43. Wow. That tells you that uh, things are not sitting so things well. Things are not sitting so uh, well. We're looking at December, which is just uh, a couple of weeks away from. And this, is, this is actually a time when uh, a lot of people travel. Absolutely. The schools are closing. Absolutely. And Kenyans really travel. <laughs> I mean, yes. that's for a fact. We're committed. <laughs> Absolutely. We're committed travelers. People are already thinking, hey, where am I going for Christmas and yes. this kind of thing, which is a good thing. It, it's okay. Mm. But then just how are we traveling? I think that is the, the, the question we'll be asking ourselves. Mm. And so every time we look at December, then it's a peak period for us. It's a spike period for us. Mm. And looking at the numbers where they are now, we are, like, we are saying, hey, if we don't do anything now, mm. uh, if people don't get to control come this festive season. We're going to have a problem. We're going to have a problem. And let's the rains back. are also here. The okay. rains are here, okay. El Nino. Yeah. Let, let's go back to, to basics. Yeah. And, uh, and, and I want us to talk about the intersection between uh, the El Nino focused and road safety uh, in a bit. Um, because we've already received reports of flooding in Masabit in Busia, and mm. people are dying already. Absolutely. Back to the beginning. Why do we have numbers of such, you know, such kind in this country? What, what are we doing wrong or what's happening to cause um, this level of, of, of road accidents? Uh, Victor will tell you this, that uh, if you look at the road safety challenge uh, that we have, uh, which is also across other countries in the world, uh, I would say we are at a crossroad. Mm. And uh, the challenge now for us in developing countries seems to be growing by day. Mm. Even with low levels of motorization compared to European nations who have so many vehicles, but our numbers seem to be just going up every other day. Yet we have very few vehicles, by the way. Right. Uh, if you look at our numbers in the country, we have about 4.8 million vehicles only against a population of about 52 million. So right. That's paltry when you compare to uh, other European nations. Right. But then, why are the numbers? Why are people just dying on these roads? Uh, if we look at our statistics, over time, we are realizing that uh, there's so much to do with behavior. Ah. Just the way we behave on these roads. Right. If you look at our, our roads around the country, they're so good. Actually, every county, the 47 counties we're talking about here, yes. has a good road. These days I go to my village and I'm, wow, I, I can drive to, uh, to my home. It's never <coughs> easy, me. you know, those days. But right. there's a Lamy somewhere. Mm. In that the government is really trying in terms of infrastructure. Um, well, a few roads could be having challenges here and there, but at least fairly good. The kind of vehicles Kenyans are consuming, I'll tell you, they're good cars. Right. <laughs> In going to the days when you'd see those, you know, uh, yeah, first me, those yeah. things. Yeah. And, and the, a the car that's held together by <laughs> glue and a prayer. Exactly. Right. Uh, these days, every car ahead of you, actually, is nice, new. The numbers are 
up there. Mm. Uh, actually, Kenyans are consuming the series every other day, like, phew, That's right. you know. Yeah. Right, right now, we are at KDN, I think. Right. Uh, I'm and not soon wrong. Too exhausted. Soon you'll be exhausted. Yeah. So it tell, tells you every, every vehicle ahead of you is actually good. So then, what is the problem? Mm. It is just the way we are behaving in all these spaces. In the space of that car, in the space of these good roads that we are having, the kind of things that we do are actually leading to a, to, to, to a lot of this. Tell, tell me uh, quickly as you can, what sort of behavior are we seeing um, th that is causing all this? Out of this. Yeah. Uh, if you look at uh, the issues that we see on our roads, it has to do with a lot of choices that we make. What choices am I making mm. in that traffic? Mm -hmm. uh, you choose to speed. Places we are not supposed to speed. Particularly now speed is a serious killer. It's actually the leading. Mm. In this speed again, is associated to other misdemeanor again, mm. drink driving. I see. A guy who drinks actually will speed. It has that relationship. And to the extent that he won't even belt up. Whenever we've done operations on these roads, the things that we see are weird. Mm. You, one time I, I intercepted a driver who, he has not even put on the lights. The he's headlights? Moving, exactly. In the night? In the night, he's moving in the darkness. And you're like, boss, where are you even going to? And then you're burning. How? I mean, who is even taking you? <laughs> you you're blind. This, there's no headlights on it. Inside, this guy's not even belted up. You can imagine. Um, and, and he's still even arguing, like, hey, no, uh, I can still get home. Uh, I've always gotten home. And you're wondering, really? These are people who end up at home, and next day you ask him, hey, how did you arrive? At a CGV. You know, I don't know how I arrived right. here. <laughs> you know, and that's it's like the car new home and <laughs> to, to do these kind of things. So there's so much to do with the. Uh, uh, one behavior leading to another and another, and, and you see it, it, it actually compounds the problem. Because when we look at speed, then you look at the way people drink and driving, then the motivation to speed and the motivation not even to belt up and do those crazy things is, is just it's so much. High. It's so, so, so high. But what about yeah. these other guys, these other road users? We've seen, uh, for example, um, I know you were making a point there, um, we've seen um, lots of campaigns around um, drivers needing to respect cyclists, for example, Absolutely. or even motorcyclists, for, for that matter. And now we, we also have uh, some rather worrying cases of pedestrian deaths, people mm -hmm. who are just going about their business and death meets them there. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what do you have to say about that? Uh, exactly. Actually, the, if you look at our numbers, the leading in terms of those fatalities and, and those injuries are actually pedestrians. Mm -hmm. And Nairobi happens to be the leading county when wow. it comes to this. Okay. Guys are knocked on these highways. Uh, left, right, center. Why is this yeah, happening? Partly, it's, uh, we would blame them, partly, because uh, there's so much using undesignated places. People cross anyhowly, uh, and, and they don't seem to be even caring about even the traffic lights. It's red, I'm passing. It's green, <laughs> I'm still going through, and all that. Uh, look at where they're crossing, like the superhighway here, uh, under the footbridge. You right. put a footbridge here, they start crossing the other side, you know. Right. Uh, it, it's really worrying. Which, and, which and, and, actually, uh, and I'm yeah. sorry to cut you, mm. uh, it leads us back to the conversation around behavior. Exactly. Now, on that point, please hold there. We want to take a short break. Uh, good people, when we come back, we want to delve into this behavior that appears to be the real culprit behind all these worrying numbers. Absolutely. And hopefully we'll find some solutions, including a great ambitious plan by the NTSA and all the stakeholders about cutting these numbers into half. He's going to tell us exactly how they plan to do so and what they require of you and me. All that after the break. <laughs>